and do stuff? I can! How am I driving, though? Oh, there's enemies. Enemies. Eh. Eh. But 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 slam. What's going on, YouTube? This is Darklight Dreamer coming at you with another Let's Play, and welcome to Unbox Newbie's Adventure. Now, this game was sent to me directly from the developer, who is so generous to send me this game for free. As always, I'm going to leave some links down in the description below, so you guys can check this game out for yourself, as well as the developers. And all I know about this game is that you play as a cute little box going on an adventure. I don't know anything really about this game, but we're going to find out what this game is all about together. It says press X, so that's what we're going to do. Alright, create a new save game. And we're gonna call ourselves, as always, not A, D, A. Alright, I don't actually have enough space to put the usual dark light, so we're gonna put dark L-I-T-E, like crystal light. Uh, not dark lie, dark light with a T. Alright, enter. I'm gonna say the button input for that is really, really laggy. But anyway, let's go ahead and start a new game. Save slot dark light. I don't know how to play, but we're gonna try this out. All right, here we go. Nice, vast blue sea, blue ocean. And there's some kind of platform in the middle of it, some kind of global postal service is in trouble. A mystery box is telling you this. Uh, yes, I get the idea. Global postal service is trouble. They keep losing parcels and soon they'll go bust. Dun, dun, dun. GPS has gone to drastic measures to save themselves. Man, that slow dialogue, though. Using mysterious technology, they've created the ultimate postal service! Living boxes, I guess? Self-delivering cardboard boxes. Nice! I guess we're playing as one of those self-delivering cardboard boxes. GPS will expect great things from you. Good luck. How would you feel if a living box delivered itself to your front door? I'd be a little bit confused, not gonna lie. And then it's like, do you just send it back off? Do I reach inside of it and grab whatever it's trying to deliver and send it back on its merry way? Could you keep a box as a pet? Does, does it realize, does it have self-awareness? Is it like, does this one have a soul? <laughs> Think the new box can do it, Bounce? They seem to have personalities. Maybe the GPS president said this one can be much smarter than us. I'm guessing I'm not gonna be well liked. Well, we're plenty smart. The smartest box of all. <laughs> Launch the forklift. So long as the new box can prove we're ready to work, I'm happy. So I guess I'm kind of still like one of the trial run boxes. Trial one. I can't speak sometimes. I don't know why. So dramatic. Cardboard creation has started. I like that box. It's like a Game Boy. So dramatic. And then a hero arose. To be the salvation of all self-delivering cardboard boxes. And I just look like a plain box. <laughs> Hi there, newbie. I don't even have a face yet. Wahoo! Great to meet ya! Processing. Hello! Okay, you look like a Game Boy. You don't have to act like a computer. You just, just, you just decided that was gonna be personality. We've got important work to do, newbie. With your advanced technology, you can save GPS. I like the random, like, box language. They're, like, garbled, like, sounds. Good luck to you, newbie. Just because we failed doesn't mean you will. Kind of reminds me of, like, Animal Crossing and such. Probability of success, I'd rather not say. Except the Digi one. He sounds like a digital voice. Before we ship you off, let's teach you how to roll, jump, uh, roll, jump, and unbox. Nice. Teach me the basics. Alright, how do I play this game? How do thing? Get six lives. Okay, so I roll with the D-pad, of course. Locations. Tells me where people are, I guess. Where different boxes are. Gosh, look at you. Undamaged corners, no scuff marks, and... A delightful new box smell. 
I need to verify your basic functionality before I send you off to save GPS. I have an important duty to fulfill. You can roll with no problem, so now I want you to jump, R1. Jump over some obstacles and come find me. For a box, I can jump pretty high, I gotta say. Boop. Oh god. <laughs> eh. The platforming in this. Eh. It's gonna be a little bit difficult, probably, but eh, we got this. We got this. Simple. If you need to go faster or there's a low wall in the way, jump to solve the problem. You can also unbox if there are any tall walls in your way. Unbox acts like a double jump, but you can use it six times. I can only use it six times. If you can't unbox, you need to collect some health. Unbox and meet me on the other side of this pool. But don't fall in. Water and cardboard, probably not good. That. Well done. Now unbox to the other side. Um, okay. Oh, no! <laughs> no! I guess I need to jump first and then unbox. Got you. I got you. Got it. Even simpler. You can catch some serious air with unbox. We sent in cardboard boxes can also slam. Using slam lets you fall faster while in the air. But slam. If you're still holding circle when you hit the floor, you'll blast any enemies or objects near- Enemies? There are enemies in this game? Slam that button to open the elevator and meet me downstairs. Remember, hold slam while in the air to hit the ground hard. I got you. I got you, fam. Alright, so are there any collectibles over here or people to talk to? What is this? Wow, you're the second biggest sentient cardboard box I've ever seen. I wonder if I get to customize myself at some point. Right now, it just looks like a regular old cardboard box. I would like to have some customization options in this. Um, uh, Bushki! Nah. I need to actually jump and slam myself on it. Um, I, kept, I forgot the jump button, that's what it was, okay. Uh, yay! Great work, newbie! Ella later, go down the hole! Right, let me talk to some people first. Don't touch these glowing green crates. This is nitro, and nitro is highly explosive. Don't mistake it for health, because health spins and nitro doesn't. Okay, green spinning health boxes are good. Those boxes are not good. Gold tape. I wonder what the gold tape is for. It seems like there are 200 total in this game. But I wonder if I could use it for upgrades or something. Does it help me in some way, shape, or form? Go down the elevator and meet me downstairs, newbie. Okay. I'm, I'll, I'll do it in just a second. Checkpoint. Uh, I was trying to get that gold piece of tape. Don't reset my position. I know what I'm doing. I don't need you to mama me. Get, get, no, no, get the, the, the... Okay, fine. Fine. Angry words. We'll go down the elevator like you wanted me to. I wanted the gold tape, but no, give me that. Three gold tapes. Uh, 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 uh. Four gold tapes. Uh, 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 uh. I guess mailboxes are checkpoints? You sure made a mess after that incredible slamming. <laughs> giggity. <laughs> All the giggity. <laughs> Don't worry about cleaning up, we'll make Nash do it later. You seem more than ready to save GPS, newbie, so here are some final tips before we head to Paradise Isles. If you ever get lost, come and find me. I'll always be able to give you advice and help. If you get stuck, deliver yourself to a checkpoint. With a, with a square button. Change perspective, triangle, to get a better view of yourself. If you need of information about a world, use the middle, I don't know what to call that button, but the touchpad, basically. Now then, off to Paradise Isles you go. It's a long journey, so we're going to ship you there in this massive crate. Hop in! Okie dokie. Heading to Paradise Isles, newbie? Swift tailoring to try it on. Visit Swift tailoring. Swift tailoring, I get it, because Taylor Swift. Explore later, newbie, we need to get Paradise Isle. Okay, fine! God, they give me all these collectibles to collect, and they don't want me to go collect them. Following your instructions. Jesus, uh, continue. And there was a green arrow above that sombrero, I wonder if I could have gotten it. And long loading times are long, sorry about that. And nothing like a good sea breeze to freshen the cardboard. I'm sure, actually, it has the opposite effect on cardboard. Being surrounded by deadly seawater is a little scary. 
Like, salt water in the air is bad for cardboard, right? Newbie, we'll reach Paradise Isle soon. I bet you're excited, right? Yeah, I mean, I can't- you can't see it on my non-existent face, but... I heard there might be some wild cards causing trouble there. Wild card? What are wild cards? They're bad boxes, newbie, not like us good boxes. Oh, it's very... <laughs> we are good, they're bad, black and white. They will attack you on sight, but hopefully you won't come to that. Watch out, the wild cards are attacking! Right now? I like, speak of the devil. What direction am I facing? Don't worry, newbie, just testing your reflexes. What's our status, Digi? Control Olo. Scanning. Paradise Isles located. Alright, dead ahead. Bring us to port. I hope I get a face eventually. I mean, that would be nice. Welcome to Paradise Isles. You must be that new box that Bounce was talking about. A boot. What are you talking about? Oh. You're much bigger than you looked on TV. I'm about the same size as you, buddy. GPS thinks you might be able to save their business. First, you need to be tested. Okay? Bounce has told me to guide you through three easy tasks before letting you explore. I want to be able to explore, if you know what I mean. Uh, first, getting to test your agility. So let's begin! Alright, I gotta develop- I gotta- not develop- I have to collect all the tape. Collect this magical floating silver tape as fast as you can. Oh, and no unboxing! I want to know how fast you are, not how high you can jump. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, let's roll. Collect all silver tape and don't fall in the water. Makes sense to me. Three, two, one, go! Ooh, collect all the silver tape. Gotta go fast. Gotta go- No! I missed it. Nice job. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. Sonic X. Okay. Let's- Let's go! Alright. Jump over this. Oh, no! Oh, shit! <laughs> Fell in the water. Damn it. Okay, we can do this. It's fine. What is this? I can lounge there, I guess. Alright. Actually, at least I don't have to go back and collect it again. I'm just try not to fall in the water this time. Let's try to just be a little bit more careful. Here we go. There we go. Didn't fall in the water. What? What? Huh? No! No, no! Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad. Uh, I need to change my perspective more so I can jump straighter. Okay. Cool. I need to, like, turn my camera more effectively is what it is. Huh? Huh? I got you. Uh, no! No! Oh, I actually almost missed this one before. Hmm. Got it. Alright, guys. Actually, a little bit more difficult than it looks. Not gonna lie. Uh, no! <laughs> no! Alright, guys. We got it. We got it. We're good. We're good. Challenge completed. Uh, I did not complete that quickly. Um, wow, you're fa- no, I am not fast. My favorite part of that challenge is when the tape went ding! You were just easily pleased. The second challenge will test your accuracy with our alternative delivery solution. Fireworks! Sometimes a customer will pay extra for speedy delivery. Oh no. Here we go. Oh, this is gonna be bad. First we need to equip a firework by rolling into a weapon crate. When loaded up with a firework, fire it when you when aiming the aiming system turns green. Green means you've locked on and the firework will hit your target. Red means you've locked on but something might get in the way of your firework. Okay? To pass the test, hit all four targets. Simple. Simple, quote unquote. Shoot the target with your firework. Three, two, one, go! Alright. Um, got one. Now, how do? Okay, so, go ahead and, how do I do this again? Uh, what button is it? I forget what button! Oh, just X. Whoa, pow! Alright. I can do this, I can do this, no problem. Bing! Boom! Not even an issue. Much easier than the other test you gave me. But, something might impede the way- there we go. Gotta get a clear shot. And now, there we go! Boom! That one was a lot easier than the first one. Maybe I'm just bad at platforming, I don't know. Well, that's, I mean, I do know that I'm bad at platforming. Wow, you're great at shooting things. I know. It's my talent, shooting things. Are you sure you haven't played Cardboard Duty before? Cardboard Duty? Uh, this final test is all about puzzle solving. 
I've been instructed to lock you inside an unbreakable cage and see if you can escape. Okay. How fun. Nice. Can you escape the cage and uh, try to escape the cage and come meet me uh, meet up by meet me up by the bridge? Yeah. If you don't know where to go, then follow the magical floating arrow. Cool. Good luck. I'll need it. Cage and confused. Escape the cage and follow Zippy 52's instructions. Three, two, one. Let's go. Curious switch. Hmm. Press the switch. Thing opens. But as soon as I step off, it's going to move. I'm at it. Nope. Oh, well, that's that was easy. That wasn't even hard. Oh no, it's that weird box that's always bothering us. Uh, you better slam it away. We don't have time for weird for weird mysteries. Okay. Uh, I can do that. Uh, eh, eh, eh. I got it. I butt slammed it. Elevator going up. Did I get something from that? It exploded into rubber duckies. Uh, but uh, no, I want on the elevator though. Uh, oh, I have to hit the bridge switch. Somehow. Oh, I... oh. Oh, okay. The elevator keeps coming back up and down. Got you. I got you. I see what you're saying. Mm. All right. Elevator up. Elevator up. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. Checkpoint. And this is just go to traffic. Just meet by the switch now, newbie. Will do. How did I flip that, though? Because I, I don't have arms, so... Like, psychic powers, I guess? Telepathic powers? Or telekinesis, I should say? Not telepathy. Telepathy is different than telekinesis. Unbox! Newbie's Adventure! Title screen! Yay! I got through the beginning part of the game! Alright. Beautiful looking world. Gotta say, this is a really good looking game for being an indie game. Well done! You passed the first challenge of flying colors. You're ready to complete challenges, collect stamps, and have fun. Alright. The world is open to me now. You have a strong gut feeling that nothing bad is going to happen. I hope that you're right. Something bad is happening. Boss Y. This like looks like Fonzie. Oh, Creases, it's you! Creases will be the least of your worries now, Bounce. <laughs> Why is he green, though? Newbie, this is the evil outlaw, Wild. That's Boss Wild. You. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, new box, you should join my, ga my gang of rebels, the Wild Cards. <gasps> the Wild Cards want to destroy GPS. Help us stop them. But why, though? Typical GPS, always bossing boxes around. They, like, created you and shit for a specific purpose. We, we get so sick of treated be, uh, being treated like objects, and now GPS will pay. Join us, newbie, and fight for freedom. Uh, nah. Nah, brah. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Don't have a mouth, so I can't answer you. Think about it, newbie. I'm off to cause chaos. Really need a mouth at some point. Wild cards will be all over Paradise Isles. You will face many challenges, newbie. Be careful out there. Will do. Don't worry, got my butt slam. Got my ability to move and jump. I got my, my unbox power. Don't worry, we got this. Who the fuck is you? The wild cards have been found in this place. The mystery box. What should be my next move? The lone stranger. It's all like mummified and shit. Got a cowboy hat. It's like a mysterious hero. You're not going to join Boss Wild in the wild cards, are you, newbie? Well, I couldn't if I, even if I wanted to. I can't talk. Without you on our side, GPS will fail in the wild cards to take over the world. They didn't even say anything about taking over the world, though. Of delivery! <gasps> Balance needs you to collect stamps to complete your training and defeat Boss Wild. You can find stamps by completing challenges or finding the hidden ones scattered around the island. You completed my challenge, so here's your first stamp. Unbox your way to victory, newbie! Good luck! Yay! I got a stamp. That's a big ol' stamp. That's a huge stamp. Hey, 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 hey. Alright, you've unlocked a new cosmetic newbie! 
All right, you should visit Swift Tailoring. It's the best place to try on new clothes. Nice. That's all. That's very far away, though. Very fucking far. So what is this, anyway? I can track stamps and shit? Oh, that's cool. Give me those. Uh, I guess I'm at full health. Okay, so now where do I go? Let's just try to get to, uh... Oh, shit! I want to customize my box by the end of this episode, so... That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to get to, um... To the cosmetic place. Tailoring Swift. Alright, guys, and we are back here where the switch is, and now I can actually go around wherever I want to. I don't have to follow any specific directions anymore. What is this? Bridgie McBridgeface is moving Vascule Bridge. This means that it rises out of the way of boats and low-flying airplanes. Cool. Uh, so where do I go for the cosmetic thing again? I forgot where the thing was already, so let's just take a look around. Let's go up this way. See what I can do. Ah. Oh yeah, I almost forgot how to jump for a second. Uh, where is the thing, though? Here's a checkpoint. Let's go ahead and get that. Uh, what do you say? Sign. What you got for me? Hold square to re-deliver yourself to any last past checkpoint. That's some good advice, because I almost forgot how to do that. Over here, newbie, I can help you with your training. Cool. Um, for that, though, let's just let's go back and see if we can't find the place. Alright, guys, I've been doing a little bit of random platforming, getting gold tapes and stuff like that. I found a switch over there that turned this fan on, so we're going to see what it's like to jump into a fan. Ha! Ahem. Ha! Boosh! Woo! And I'm undamaged, of course, because I'm the main character, and you can't just kill off the main character. That'd be silly. That would be silly. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to try to get a collectible with that, though, or what. But anyway, uh, I can't find the cosmetic place right here, so we're going to try to move on and see if it's over in this direction. Over here, newbie. Yeah, yeah, you told me. You told me. I'm looking around, though. All right, we're just going to go ahead and talk to Bounce real quick see what he wants. What's up, Bounce? What you got? Let's see, saving. Have you found Paradise Isle so far? Or have you found Paradise Isle so far, rather? I love the sea beaches and warm sunshine. GPS trusts me the most, so I've been able to help you navigate the island. If you ever want to know anything, I'm the one to roll to. How can I help you today? Let's see, finding things. There is much to do and even more to find on Paradise Isles. What do you need help with? Uh, I want to find... Let's see, gold tape, challenge stamps, hidden stamps, trap zippies. Let's go ahead and do that. Gold tape is everywhere. Some box should clean it up. There's some tape right there. Is there anything else you need? Uh, that's fine. Don't worry about it. How can I help you? Uh, I'm good. You don't need my help after all. Bye, newbie. Thanks for nothing. Alright, let's see if we can go around the aisle just a bit and find where we want to go. Let's do a little bit of exploring. What's this way? Ooh, woo! Can I drive? Is, can, I, can I actually jump in here? And do stuff? I can! How am I driving though? Oh, there's enemies. Enemies. Eh. Eh. But, 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 slam. I got employee parking only. Super Turbo X permit holders only. Okay. Did I get them? Looks like a butt slamming because there's a rubber ducky. They bleed rubber duckies. Give me that gold tape. Thank you. All right, but for serious, for serious, I, do I need to get over there? Is that what I need to do? But all the water. So much water, though. Water bad. Like, you would think an island be the worst place to house all these living boxes. Considering it's surrounded by the one thing that can, or one of the, not only things, but, you know, one of the things that can kill them. Being in water is death for a box, and it's surrounded by water. I guess that is a good way to keep you contained, though. From a design standpoint, we don't want you to explore too much. It's not an open-world game, and it's better than having an invisible wall. I need to get that gold tape stuff. That's gonna bother me if I don't get it. Aha! I need to jump up here. Yeah. All the baddies! Die, baddie! B -b butt slam! Butt slam! I'm gonna butt slam it! I got you. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! 
All right, let me get up there somehow. Uh, let's just jump and then do the thing. Aha! Gold tape! All right, now we're go. Let's try double jumping over here and seeing what I can do there, from there. Uh. Ah! All right, I can jump from here to here. Oh, no, no! Not in the water, not in the water, please. Oh, I can only stand on them for a short amount of time, too. Oh, there's a cafe right here. What you got for me? Do we need to eat? Do, do we need to actually intake some kind of sustenance? I have no idea. There's a checkpoint. Let's do that. Go more gold tape. More things. All right. I'm assuming maybe the cosmetic place is somewhere over here. So let's let's try to find it. Superbox trail number one or trial number one. Uh, Superbox's GPS is first defense against the wild card threat. Bo they made boxes to be able to fight other boxes that they made. So it's kind of funny. You should visit Swift Tailoring. They have the best clothes around. Yes, I- oh, it's right here. Okay, cool. Sweet! We found it! We found it, we found it. Dark light. Let's see, I have a fancy hat and moustache. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I hit a bad, bad button. Okay. Alright guys, as you can see, there are actually a lot of choices of cosmetic items that you can get. A lot of them are actually locked by challenges. Some, some of them are like, uh, find all the gold tape in certain areas. Some of them are defeat a boss. Some of them are complete trials. So yeah, there's a lot of different cosmetic items that you can get. I'm going to go ahead and go with... I'm going to be a demon prince with this purple box. Boom. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Uh, it would be funny if it actually affected how I rolled, but luckily it doesn't. So anyway, let's move on. See if we can get any farther in a story of some sort. Right now it just seems like open world exploration. Now, boom, maybe we can complete a few trials. Don't forget to free any trapped zippies you find, newbie. Um, okay. More gold tape. So I guess that's what the gold tape is for. You uh, unlock other cosmetic items by like collecting them all in an area. Anyway, so what do, where go with my demon princely self? All right, guys, it looks like there's a stamp trial here. So let's go ahead and try to do that. It's a bird. No, wait, it's a plane. Act no. It's newbie! Looks like a superhero box. The wild cards are taking over Paradise Isle, starting with the Shanty Village. Will you help me stop them before it's too late? Sure, why not? I knew you were a hero. You need to shoot or slam 20 wild cards that should be uh, that should send them running. Sweet. Look for weapons crates to load yourself with fireworks. Once the wild cards are gone, then I'll let you have this super uh, this stamp. Nice. Shantytown Shakedown. Wild cards have taken over Shantytown. Help Superbox blast them out. Superbox, huh? You can call me the Dark Light Box, I guess. Alright, so. Mrs. White! Boom! I need more weapons! I need more weapons! Oh, I gotta complete it in three minutes. Okay, that's that's fine. Yeah. And I need to take down those 20 of them in total. Got you, I got you. Rockets away! Oh, God. oh shit! Oh god, I got hit! I got hit! Ow, I'm a black box now! Oh shit! So many explosions! So many explosions! The cool guys won't look at explosions though. Oh shit! Owie! Owie! I need health! I'm only down to two boxes! Help my mama! Oh shit! Owie! I was trying to get- oh, those are explosive boxes, those aren't health boxes. That's what they were trying to warn me up about before. I need lock up. Owie! How do I avoid that shit? Alright, I need to jump more. Be more evasive. Be smarter. Alright, eh. I got you! Alright, and I need to not stand near explosives. That's that's another big thing. Another key factor, I'm sure. No, no, no! Not in the water! Not in the water! <laughs> oh, damn. Give me that. I'm gonna lock onto you. Oh, no, I hit the wrong freaking button. I just blew my own face up. <laughs> Got you. All right, I need more baddies. Uh, luckily, they have big obvious targets on them if I don't jump in the damn water. Oh my God. All right. We got this, we got this. I have one minute to take out six more of those things. I can do it. I can do it, I got this. 
No biggie. Oh, fuck. Let's not roll into that because it's dangerous. Shit. The movement controls, they are weird. Uh. Okay, got, got you. Uh. Butt slam you. Uh. That's what I thought. That is what I thought. I need three more. I got 40 seconds to get three more. Uh. Butt slam. All right, now you just need one more. Where are you? Where are you? I got a rocket with your name on it. 30 seconds left. Okay, I just need to know where the baddie is. I can get him. There he is. Oh, shit. He got me. He got me instead. I'm still alive, though. Oh, no. 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 Got you. Oh, I hit the wrong button. No. Okay, cool. I kind of blew myself up in the process, but we got it. <laughs> All right, aha! You sure showed those wild cards who the real bosses were. <laughs> Was not an easy task. I'm so not used to this game yet. There won't be any more rebellions today. You've earned the stamp, and I've earned a rest. All right, give me that stamp. Now, do the stamps helping in any way, or are they just another collectible? Let's see, there's uh, 16 more stamps in this area, eight more wild cards, and bunch more gold tanks. Oh, did I get an actual, like, cosmetic item? I guess. Cool. Alright, guys, I'm pretty sure what I unlocked is actually down here in this locked section, this brave superhero-type face. So, yeah, you unlock different cosmetic items by completing different challenges. Alright, guys, so that was Unbox Newbie's Adventure. I think that's gonna be all of this game I show you guys. You guys get the idea. It's an open world game where you collect collectibles and fight enemies and you complete challenges and unlock more cosmetic items, stuff like that. I don't know if there's more of a main storyline to this, but um, I guess you guys can go figure it out for yourself if you want to get this game. Uh, it was a pretty fun game. I can definitely see a younger audience getting into this. It's a pretty good looking game, I gotta say. Uh, it's a pretty impressive looking game for the fact that I got it for free, definitely. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a huge favor and share this video with your friends. It really and truly means a lot more to me than you guys know. It really helps me out a lot when you guys share my videos. Uh, do me a favor, drop some comments too. Let's talk about this game. I love hearing from you guys. I just love chatting with you guys. It really and truly makes my day. If you haven't the subscribe button yet, you guys know that I'd love to have you guys as a member of the Rockhide family. And we'll continue a brand new journey together again very, very soon. And until then, may your dreams like your darkest hour. And I'll see you next time. Bye.